Welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. Should I start this off by saying, me kangaroo tail, how are they, hey, listen up, let me tell you something about Jamaicans, right, and their food. Jamaicans are very proud people, right, they are very strong people indeed, and they have a lot to be proud of. They are very proud, proud people, and one of the things that Jamaicans love to show off is their food. Their food is I would call an intricate process when it comes to preparation. The most scornful people in the world will eat from Jamaicans in a hurry without even knowing the Jamaicans because they know that all when outside dirty. When it comes to the food are the most intricate cleanest preparations you had ever seen. I we say wash chicken with vinegar, you know. I we say wash chicken with lemon juice, you know. I we say soak it off before, you know. I we say wash all the white rice before, you know. You know all, all these other people, most of them, they just throw the chicken in the seasoning and throw it in the pot or in the oven. Or they just throw the rice from the bag straight into the pot. But Jamaicans have an intricate way of cooking food. So when someone said to me that, yo, would you eat kangaroo tail? I said... Well, you know, I'm Jamaican, but I've been around the world, so uh, I might give it a try. I'm not sh It's not on my to-do list. It's not one of the things that I really want to do. I mean, me don't feel like me want yam kangaroo. Especially when I look at a kangaroo, the kangaroo, nothing about the kangaroo no make me feel like, say, me don't yam a kangaroo. But then again, I've eaten crocodile. So, and when I look at a crocodile, it definitely don't look like something that you would want to eat kangaroo tail thing somebody said so flow jamaicans have been eating kangaroo tail for the longest and don't even know it because kangaroo tail came to jamaica through the chinese importing their meats and because it's cheap to get from australia they're shipping the kangaroo tail from australia oxtail is very expensive because the ox is expensive to rear and the tail, just like prime beef ribs and all those things, they, those are expensive. They have cheap parts of the cow, but the expensive part does include the tail. Oxtail is expensive. If you go to any Jamaican restaurant, is one of the expensive things on the menu. But what the Chinese have done is they figured a way to get real meat that is imitation but looks exactly like and some people say once you cook it down like oh jamaican cook it down oxtail stew it tastes just the same some say it even tastes better yo how the oxtail tastes for that mm -mm, it tastes different from the last one that one yeah bangers it good right only come to find out that it's actually kangaroo tail so I'm here doing a little research online. I'm saying this is not possible. Could it possibly be that they've been giving us a six for a nine and has been selling us kangaroo tail for oxtail? Well, I got to find out that it is actually a delicacy. And in Australia, they actually eat the whole kangaroo. They eat every part of the kangaroo. And I also got to find out that the kangaroo tail actually looks exactly like the oxtail. It's meaty and gelatinous and it is similar to the oxtail and it is cooked in the same manner under some long, low pressure, low temperature cooking. That is the same thing. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the pictures and I was not able to tell in comparison the difference between the oxtail and the kangaroo tail. I pulled the pictures up online, I looked at them, I put them side by side, and I myself was starting to, now remember, you know, me I eat oxtail, I'm a seasoned oxtail from me, little, you know, I'm a big man, you know. So, I'm, I'm putting the pictures side by side, and I'm looking at it, and I said to myself, say, me can't tell. After a while, I myself started mixing up the oxtail with the kangaroo tail, and picking kangaroo tail for oxtail. Oh, <laughs> with the back foot. Yo, me say, I don't know, people, I'm saying to myself that I would never try it, but then again, I think after looking at the pictures of how it is prepared and all these things, I don't know, I might have to get a try. Missy Oxtail Hamburger, Missy Oxtail, not Oxtail, Kangaroo Burger, Missy Kangaroo Spicy Tacos, them have Kangaroo Steak, they have, them eat Kangaroo 
herbs and garlic kebabs. Kangaroo herbs and garlic kebabs. My grandparents. And they look good. So I'm looking at the comments. They asked, would you eat this? Chandu Shan says, hmm, looks like oxtail to me. Anthony Coley says, I got to try this. It looks leaner and less fattier than oxtail, which I love to death. Now, if you don't know, you, know, you see the oxtail, when you buy the IPB oxtail or when you don't buy the top of the line oxtail, you have to take the oxtail and go get it shaved. Okay, because oxtail does have a lot of fat on it, believe it or not. It, the, the, the lean meat is encased in fat. So you want them shave off the, the fatty fatty part so you don't get too much of it. You want a little bit of the fat in there, you know, even though animal fat is not good for you. It can clog up your arteries. But you want a little bit of fat in there, you know what I mean? Not too much though. So that's just a FYI for somebody who is going to be trying to cook oxtail this holiday season. Georgie says, yes, I would so bite the roux oxtail. Bob Murta says, root tail, best food ever. It beats oxtail any day. I don't know. I never tried it. I can't say. I'm thinking of trying it now, though. Somebody says, mm, I don't know. Maybe if them slow cook it. The next person says, I would definitely give it a go. Tess Clark says, yes, cooked it at home, slow braised and served it with char grilled loins. Yum, yum. I don't know where all that is though. Leland says, I would love to try this. Where can I get it? Sue says, where can I get it? I would love to try it. So, would love to try it. Often buy oxtails though. Had oxtail soup just tonight for dinner. Yum, yum. It makes a hearty meal with a healthy and really good for you. Somebody else says, Alan said. Now listen people. As a Jamaican... And you're tuned into this channel and you are Caribbean people. I want you to leave your comment in the comment section below. Have you ever eaten kangaroo tail before? Would you eat kangaroo tail? What are you going to do if you find out that the meat market that you've been going to, the wholesale place, and you've been getting your oxtail and you've been cooking and eating? That actually they have been giving you kangaroo tail for oxtail. Would you be upset or would you just say, rah, well, it, um, it's seasoned to my taste now and I've been eating it for a while so no sense in stopping or being mad at anybody. It now nah, kill nobody and actually people in Australia have been eating it from the indigenous people of Australia, by the way, have been eating it from way back when. Hundreds and hundreds of years they've been eating kangaroo tail. So, would you? And while you're at it, leave in the comment section, I don't know what corner of the globe you're from, but leave in the comment section some of the weirdest meats that you've ever eaten. I know for a fact in Trinidad, when I'm a Trinidadian, used to say, him love maniku. And I said, what is Maniku? And when he showed me what Maniku was, I said, mm-mm, me can't eat that. It looked like a big rat, right? So I know there are Caribbean people out there that eat a lot of weird stuff. It's not just kangaroo tail, and it's not just ox tail, and it's not just goat. Leave some of the weird stuff that you think you've eaten or might have eaten unknowingly in the past. It's all Flow TV man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I might go try some of this kangaroo tail. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.